Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Keely and today we're going to be giving my guest bathroom a huge makeover. I've been working on this for weeks and I'm so excited to finally share the process and reveal with you. So before we start, I wanna show you guys what it looked like before. We haven't done anything to this bathroom since we bought the house, obviously. The walls are this awful electric blue color and everything is pretty plain and cramped. I've had so many ideas of what I wanted to do for this bathroom since it's the main bathroom that guests use, but I had to stick to a budget, so we decided to DIY all of it. So my husband Tim was definitely the lead in this project. Without him, I would definitely not be able to take apart a sink. He's definitely the chip to my Joanna. The first step to this project was to take everything out of the bathroom. We took down the white cabinet behind the toilet, the mirror, and all the fixtures like the towel holder and the toilet paper holder and all that good stuff. This part is time consuming and tedious, but it makes it so much easier to paint and get things done. A fun little hack for you. When you're painting your bathroom, put a garbage bag over the back of your toilet. It will help to make sure you don't get paint on your toilet when you're painting behind it. Tim says, who looks behind a toilet? But really, I feel like that would be very noticeable if you didn't paint behind your toilet. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I do hope you will subscribe. If you're new, my name is Keely. I'm a full-time working mom to two girls. On my channel, you'll find tons of content for everyone. Grocery hauls, home decor and DIY projects, vlogs, and the occasional travel video if quarantine would ever end. So please subscribe and introduce yourself in the comments. I love meeting you guys and talking to you. You can also follow me on Instagram and now TikTok. The color we painted the bathroom is called Agreeable Gray, and the name is right. It's very agreeable. In fact, so agreeable that the entire downstairs of our house is actually painted this color. We taped everything off with tape and also used an edger. Every time I use this edger, I get a lot of comments about it. It's a lifesaver, literally. It's only around $5 at Lowe's and it helps so much, y'all. You really don't have to tape to be honest, but I really just wanted to be extra careful, make my life easier. Next, I decided to do something about the grout on the floors. We have really plain white tile floors, and although I've tried a bunch of tricks that I found on Pinterest, I haven't been able to get the grout clean. I found an inexpensive grout paint on Amazon and decided to paint the grout back to white. It really cleaned everything up. I would recommend getting an actual paint though and not the paint pen like I have. The paint worked great, but then the tip of the pen did not withstand the grout for very long, so it became a little more tedious than I would have liked, but hey, I'll try anything once. While you're watching today, I would love it if you shared with me. You can share and tag me on Instagram. It means so much to me that you guys take the time to watch my videos and it's so fun to see your reactions. We also wanted to redo the vanity. I looked online for vanities, but decided I could probably paint, my, paint it myself for a fraction of the cost. Our vanity isn't anything to brag about. It's plain white. The doors have a vinyl overlay on them that chips pretty easy, so I wanted to take that off. It actually came off way easier than I thought it was going to. Then I sanded the vanity itself and painted it with a high gloss cabinet paint in the color, I don't actually know how to say this word, but I'm gonna put it on the screen. It's a navy color, I don't know. I did also purchase a paint sprayer since we have plans of redoing all the cabinets in our house. It really gives it a much more professional look than just using a brush, because there's no brush strokes, you know? This one is super easy to use and on Amazon for less than 40 bucks. I've tried to link everything that I have used down below, but if I miss something or you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask.
Next up was the part I was most excited for. I'm a sucker for accent walls, so I actually reached out to the company Wall Blush about this project and they agreed to send me some wallpaper to try. I picked it out in the pattern Chevy Girl. It's easy to do yourself and comes in easy to use strips with great directions for first timers like us. I love this geometric gold print and their wallpaper isn't damaging to the walls, so it's a good option if you wanna change the room in the future. It was pretty easy to put up, but because it's a patterned wallpaper, you have to make sure it's lined up correctly. As long as you go slow and be careful, it turns out so cute. You also definitely need a helper, so a huge shout out to my husband Tim for being the real MVP when it came to this project and helping me with everything. You can check out all the prints that Wall Blush has with the link in my description. They're all super cute, fun, and easy to use for any size room. They're also an incredible company that is always willing to help you if you have any questions. I promise if I can do it, so can you. I'm super excited about how the wall turned out and I cannot wait to do another accent wall with their wallpaper in my laundry room. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that video. Another way we save money was on the countertops. I love the look of marble and granite, but I wanted to keep it budget friendly and also make sure it looked very nice. I did not want to paint my countertops because I did that in our old house and it was a complete disaster. In my research, I came across this vinyl overlay for countertops. It's made by the company Easy Faux Decor and comes in many different colors and patterns. It's super thick and durable and was pretty easy to install also. I honestly love it so much, I will probably do all of my counters with it. We used a heat gun to make sure it adhered to everything and it seriously turned out so amazing. By far my favorite part of the project. So if you decide to do something like a wallpaper or a vinyl overlay, sometimes you can get bubbles. If this happens to you, here's a little tip. First, don't freak out. Second, take a push pin or a needle and make a super tiny hole. This will let the air out and allow you to push it flat with whatever tool you're using to smooth it out. Go up slow and don't try to pull up all the paper to lay it down flat again. Sometimes this will stretch out the paper, bad idea. If you can't smooth it out completely, don't force it. Trust me, we learned this the hard way, so I figured this was a really good tip to share. Twenty Twenty has us doing a lot of house projects, from doing a makeover on both my front and back porch to lots of organizing. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure to go check out some of the other videos I've done. I am so in love with how the back tur porch turned out especially. It's like my own little tropical oasis in the middle of North Carolina. After we finished the counters and walls, it was time to put the bathroom back together. We hung the new mirror that I got from Hobby Lobby. Shout out to their spring clearance for this one. Then Tim put the sink back and reinstalled the newly painted faucet, towel holders, and toilet paper holder. We saved some money by spray painting these instead of buying new ones. It's important when you're doing home projects to think outside the box like that. You definitely don't have to buy everything brand new. Usually there's ways to repurpose a lot of what you already have so you can splurge on other things you really can't live without. I picked up these new towel hooks from Amazon. They're so cute and would be great for so many places in your house. Not to mention, they're under $15 for a set of two.
I also gave the bathroom a thorough cleaning since everything was pretty dusty and dirty from all the sanding and painting. To top everything off, I picked up some new navy towels from Marshalls. This bathroom is right next to our guest room, so I figured these would be perfect for guests. My favorite part of this was decorating and seeing this vision come to life. Since it's the guest bathroom, I also filled this little glass container with small shampoos, lotions, and travel size products for any time I have a guest visit, which isn't often lately, hashtag coronavirus. I also organize under the cabinet. I have to say that one thing I've learned in 2020 is that I have a very weird obsession for organizing everything into small plastic bins, but I guess worse things could have come out of this year for sure. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I loved how everything turned out and I hope you did too. I had so much fun sharing the process with you guys. If you loved it, please make sure to let me know. And if you're new, please make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.